Biologists studying the spotted lanternfly say they believe they may have found a way to kill off the insect in cases of severe infestation. WFMZ's Holly Herrer joins us now live from the Allentown area with more on this new finding. Holly. Wendy, Rob, I'm in Allentown right now where many have noticed spotted lanternflies not on trees but lifeless in places like sidewalks, the streets, and other areas where they're not typically known to thrive. I spoke to a biologist at Delaware Valley University this afternoon who says it could be that they're simply dying of old age or an insecticide you can use right at home. In some surrounding areas, you almost can't go outside and not spot a spotted lanternfly. But researchers have found a new method of eradicating the insect that may be of good use to homeowners. It's what Dr. Tipping, a biologist at Delaware Valley University, is calling a systemic insecticide. Basically, you apply it to the soil like a drench, and then the plant draws up the material, and it's inside the vascular tissue of the plant. Which is what the spotted lanternfly typically feeds on. When they're feeding on that, they get the poison, and that's how they die. It's one of the most effective methods researchers say to use in extreme infestations, mostly on the tree of heaven, known to thrive in Pennsylvania. Dr. Tipping suggests not using the insecticides on trees you may eat from. He says sticky panels work well in those cases. But if you do opt for an aggressive solution, carefully follow the EPA's instructions for use. So if you buy something at the store and it's labeled for something, you should use it for that something. And there are a few chemistries that are now labeled for spotted wing lanternfly. Dr. Tipping also said any and all ways to control this non-native insect that is seemingly here to stay will work. You can also refer to the Penn State Extension and Department of Agriculture online for those best practices. Reporting live in Allentown, Holly Herr, 69 News.